Do you want to tell them who some of the people are? Oh, yeah. Sure. I love to. So, this is my daddy, Evan Rodriguez. I didn't want to push them into hockey. It was kind of, they were just going to do what, what they wanted, what they enjoyed, try different things. And um, Grayson's just become really, really excited about it. He wants to go to every game. He wants to go to every warm up. He plays it all day long at home. And it's cool to have them be a part of it. Where is he? Oh, they're all in here. Oh. They were, I'm pretending like they're in the mission, but I forgot you guys were coming. No, what are you doing? <laughs> These two are the wine men, and then let me see who this is. Cam McCarr. And then this is Cam McCarr. That's uh, Mika Rantanen. Let me see. Uh, the Yorkie F. Number 62, Tori Wokinen. <laughs> it's no longer almost like a job for me. It's now a family thing. and seeing how happy he gets when you know he gets a puck in warm-ups or when I score a goal just it just makes it that much better and it makes it even more enjoyable for me. It's cool to see how excited he gets to see him on the ice and it's his dad you would think his dad giving him a puck for the 200th time wouldn't be that exciting but it is every single time. He's very observant he's very he seems like a very smart kid he's got a very good memory like with the anthems and He'll kind of just randomly start singing it, and then we're like, whoa, he kind of knows the whole thing. And like, even Noah now. Yeah, like, yeah. Noah's two and a half, and he's, you know, knows sentences of the anthem. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn till we want? What's so proud are we have? Who brought drives and bright stars? very lucky I'm not complaining at all but a lot of people depending on who you ask to have kids in hockey or not it's a big choice because it has its pluses and minuses I mean it's definitely it takes away from you know your free time if he wanted to come home and take a nap maybe he wouldn't you know if the boys want to play with him that type of thing but for me we just make it work and when he's on the road we you know I'll bring them to hockey practice now and we'll watch them on TV it's like the highlight of the day it's it's kind of just what we do and they love it and they're so proud of it. When I was hurt too, like we had a couple afternoon games that were, I think there was a St. Louis one that was at 2 o'clock and it was 1 o'clock here so mm -hmm. Grayson woke up, went to practice, came home and then he got to watch hockey for three hours so like it was perfect for him. Like that's his ideal day and um, it's nice for, I don't want to push it on him but it's awesome to see him playing hockey and enjoying it and really loving it. You ready, monkey? Remember, march little steps. Uh, march. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Number 62, two minutes per hide again. <laughs> nice. Look at that balance. Oh, I jinxed it. You're stopping in the crease, like. Georgiev. <laughs> oh, you're warming up. Nice. You know, some days you come home from the rink and you're tired and you just want to kind of relax, but it, bring, it brings back memories to when I was a kid and I have a very fond memory of, uh, we had a living room with a pool table and my family used to all watch TV together and I used to just, buzz around the room, stick handling through the pool table, stick handling through, you know, the couch legs. And um, I remember my family getting mad at me and now Grayson wants to do it. And I'm like, well, can't say anything because this is exactly what I did when I was a kid. What team are you being today? Colorado. You're going to be Colorado today? I, I'm going with 
you beat the other team because you never do. Okay. Hey. Whee! Penalty. Penalty. Hey. Penalty. Hey. In the box. In the box. Yeah. This is menace. He's the menace of the family. Yeah. Oh, Grayson, penalty. Yeah, two men in a box. Yeah. Bear Bear in a box. All right, I got the puck. I'm digging it. For what? To let Trevor. No, no way. I Get out of here. Yeah. I used to sometimes come home after games and, you know, either overthink the game or watch video right away and, and stuff like that and you almost become overwhelmed and uh, too into it and now with the kids, you know, they don't, Grayson's starting to get smarter with it but they don't know wins and losses and goals and stuff like that um, and they just come home and they see their dad and you can go out and play a bad game but when your two kids run to you at the door you kind of puts it into perspective of, you know, there's, there's more than just hockey in life and it's almost like an automatic reset button. They've definitely made you a better hockey player. Yeah. All the added uh, practice yeah. at the house, but not to mention, like you said, the separation from the rink. Like, it's yeah. huge. Like, he doesn't overthink anymore. He used to have yeah. trouble sleeping the night before a game, you know, like, just because it's always on your mind and it's a good distraction that they've been and they're just always happy and, like you said, Win or lose, they're your number one fan, yeah. for real, so. And I always stick handle around yeah. Grayson now, so I stick handling's had to improve since. No, take it easy on yeah. them. Like.